We're going to speak to a forward and backward two block for this movement. Uh, you'll see on the site, on the app, they take uh, one of the lighter bands. Don't go too heavy here since your legs are close together. Um, and they have it, and they take it on the ankles. Oh, kind of angle and make a calf. You're going to open the legs enough that you feel that tension, which is what we want, right? We want to use the band to create tension and work the legs as you're moving. What we don't want is this real far apart stance so that you can't bend your knees and you can't move well with the band in this position. If it was above your knees, it would be different. But because we're doing a lower hold on the band, take the feet far enough apart, so the legs far enough apart that you feel that tension, that your legs are having to work to hold the band open. That makes sense? And the most important thing, honestly, on this movement is that your knees don't collapse inward. I want them out, just like you would do a regular squat on the floor, barbell squat, whatever. Make sure that the knees are moving out. Your chest is very lifted and very tall. I like to put my hands on my hips. You can put your hands on your hips. You can have them up, whatever feels good for you. And then you'll walk, bending the knees, keeping them out, keeping the weight in the heels forward and back. Keeping those legs apart the entire time keeping the knees from collapsing inward, lifting the chest, bracing the belly from the side. So we don't want this big forward lean. I want that tension on. I know it's like very, it feels very restrictive, but it's just killer, killer way to train here. So that's that forward, backward, two block. Enjoy. <laughs> 